Engines are EPA and Tier 4 compliant without any of the expensive fluids or filters required for diesel. Add it all up and propane is second only to rain when it comes to savings. Learn more about making the switch to propane at propane.com slash agriculture. I'm Tyron Spearman for Southeast AgNet. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, IOAs, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at Powell Gene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Okay, five minutes after 11 o'clock. I'm just curious if our next guest, if, if I can do something to get him angry. I'm just curious. Oh, if I can do something to get him angry, will he become the Incredible Hulk? Yeah. <laughs> Frederick Fred Tattershore is on the phone. What an honor. He is uh, a voice actor most known for the portrayal of Hulk in several animated roles that include the Ultimate Avengers, Hulk versus Marvel, Ultimate Alliance 2. You, you got to say that with a gravelly voice. <laughs> yes, you do. Hulk. Uh, the Avengers, <laughs> Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the character portrayal of Damon Baird in Gears of War video game series. Wow. The Russian Nikolai Belinsky in Call of Duty, World at War, and the Black Ops video game series. Look, we're getting everybody's attention now. Yeah. See, when you have somebody who's done something famous, look at this. I know, I know. He's uh, super famous. Took it, took it in Thundercats, the character. Eight I in like the Tim Burton produced film Nine and one of the voice actors in Battlefield Earth, a saga of the year 3000. And he happens to be a stand-up comedian as well. Frederick, Fred Tattashore, I put your picture up on our uh, streaming video so people can see you. I hope it's a, a, a flattering one. I hope you don't mind it. It looks like a handsome <laughs> I picture. Look like a blow, I always look like a blowfish on my pictures because they usually <laughs> catch me mid doing a voice. <laughs> That's the comedy. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are you, where are you, Fred? Where, you, where are we calling? I call it uh, in from uh, Venice, California. Venice, all right. I know Venice, right up, right down from uh, Santa Monica. Right. That's where exactly. the poor, uh, that's where the poor kids live. The, the rich kids live in Santa Monica. Well, and, uh, exactly, and now it's changed. It's been amazing. I got here when I first moved here. It was, you know, uh, it, it, always artistic, but gunshots and all that. And, you know, <laughs> oh, just, oh, no. <laughs> it, always it, artistic. It has, <laughs> I love oh, that. No. Oh, no. It has changed and grown. And, yeah, it's Wait a minute. If you, if you play Hulk, you'll fit right in with Muscle Beach. Isn't, isn't that yeah. right there? I try. They let me in once in a while. I said, you know what? I want to just rip on my abs for a minute. Listen to I'm going to do a little bit. You know, three reps of 50, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I didn't even have to Actually, get you. Actually, Lou Ferrigno, like Lou Ferrigno, the original Hulk, would be there. Oh, I'm sure. You know? Oh, yeah. Did he he's do a bodybuilder. Did he do his own voice? Uh, he has. Oh, yeah. He works on the he works on the films, and yeah, he does. Oh, I didn't know he's that. He's done it. Well, yeah. gosh, so what, I mean, what is your path? I mean, how did this happen for you that you did all these things? Oh, uh, well, for my own path in, in, in the work was just uh, starting with, uh, I've always uh, doing stand-up comedy and doing voices growing up. I mean, as a kid, I, I, I think either I was given or I stole a tape recorder from my dad and just started <laughs> playing with that. <laughs> you know, I thank him for it, you know. And it was, uh, yeah, and then uh, I got into doing stand-up comedy and uh, then uh, improv and then theater. Uh, and I was always an animator along the way, so I started doing voices for my films, for my friends' films, and the two careers kind of uh, kind of converged, oh, you well, know, into oh, voice well. acting. Yeah, it was kind of it's kind of a, kind of a windy way to get there. And uh, um, 
Yeah, so it's been doing this for, gosh, now about 13 years or so. Wow. You do, know? do you take your act on the road? Could, will we ever see you here in Florida? You know, I would love to. I would love to go there, yes. I, I, I'm off, I often do the Comic-Cons. Oh, okay. So what's okay. the closest Comic-Con to you guys? Get, I just came back from San Diego. Uh, Tampa. Tampa, okay. Tampa's okay. the closest. I will make sure I do Tampa. I, I have been, well, I love doing that. So, oh, yeah, cool. I, I do think on the road. <laughs> and it's, it's a stra- I think there's a, a nonstop flight from L.A. to Tampa, yeah. too. So the- <laughs> that would be perfect. I prefer those. <laughs> yeah. So when you went to the San Diego uh, Comic-Con, were people able to see you and get your autograph and uh, converse? Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Oh, absolutely. That's the whole point is, you know, you get to say hi to fans. The fans are the best. They, it's they, they're such a great group of people, and we get to really share that with them. They talk to you about hey, what what they're into, and the, the kind of work, and and it's it's really uh, it's really a great exchange. Do you do you, um, do you and a great audience? Do you play Do you play the video games that you're in? Yes, but I'm um, I'm terrible at them, <laughs> and, I, I, and I really and I, I love them because I love the stories and the cinematic. Unless it's a uh, and a physical thing, like if it's a Wii or something where I can actually do the activity. But sometimes I, I mess up the, uh, you know, with the, the whole controllers and everything. Right? Hey. I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to do an animated bit about me, you know, playing a character that I would play in a video game <laughs> and how it would just kick my, you know, like it was just <laughs> just like a really highly efficient or, you know. Thing. I cannot believe you voiced me. Press the red button. I, I, I can't find you. Where are you? I don't know where you are. <laughs> so you could, do, do you do you do a, a one man show where you where you play the different characters and have the dialogue throughout oh, the whole thing? Oh, I have. Thing? I have, and I'm trying to work on some new ones. But yeah, that's what I. That was my stand up. You know, back in you know many years ago oh, <laughs> that funny. was the kind of thing so, i like to do can you take us behind the scenes a little bit i'm just curious what the what it's like in a recording studio doing a voice for a video game versus doing a voice for something like Battlestar or battlefield earth um sure. or any animated piece i mean is Absolutely. it is it is it is it different in any way Oh, uh, yes. I mean, at its core, it's the same thing. You're just acting. You're acting, you're portraying a character, and you're, you know, who are you? What do you want? Where are you going? You know, and then in voice acting, you want to know what he looks like, and kind of just inhabit the soul of that that character. Uh, so in some, in some cases with animation, uh, we, we're all in a group together. We record the script like a radio play. And uh, video games, oftentimes, it's just you. You know, because there's so many parts that they have to connect. Uh-huh. So you're doing your your version of it, um, and then sometimes we have what they call cinematics, where we record all together. Um, you know, in Battlefield Earth, uh, it was really you know it was such a one on one experience with my director Jim Meskimen, who's amazing, yeah. um, and he's all over it. It, it would be a one on one kind. It's still a radio play, still acting, still, still same process for me, just uh, not in a group setting. Yeah, we actually, you know. Jim. We had Jim on a couple of weeks ago. I think it was talking about this. And then, yeah. yeah, I mean, he told us it was a forty-seven and a half. The finish, <laughs> the finished product. Forty-seven and a half hours. And a half hours. I know. Uh, unabridged is the word. Yeah, un- <laughs> definitely know, unabridged. It, it, yeah. It's it, it, you know it's nine months of work really between recording and and post, but it took over five years because of scheduling. <laughs> you know. Wow. So, wow. Have you listened? Have you listened to it? I mean, ha- oh yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. It's immersive. It's, uh, it's, what's so fun about it, what's so great, I mean, the writing itself is witty. Uh, you know, it's just really great writing, great science fiction that's, that's uh, rooted in, in things, you know, that are politics and gold and greed and money. And you know, right, it, right, it's right. got all the juicy stuff that speaks. That's what, you know, you call evergreen. They would be like good, you know, for many years. For, do, you know, do you know it, what it I want? Do you know what I wonder? It says Battlefield Earth, a saga, a saga of the year 3000. Just a real quick question. Maybe this is just going to be speculation on your part. But in the year 2999, mm-hmm. are we going to be worried about computers crashing again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know we will. You know we will. We're going to make an end of the world scenario out of that. You know, we're going to have to figure some. What would we call it, though? It'd be like, you know, 4K50 or something. You know, <laughs> you know like, 
I'm going to be ready for 4K50. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I had no idea. No, 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 no. It's 4K50. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, here, when did that come? I all your money. That, that way, that you you just had a Southern character there for a second. Yeah. What was his name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's making things up on the spot. <laughs> that was al- almost almost Foghorn Leghornish. <laughs> It's kind of popcorn leghorn, kind of a Stephen Root, who is actually from uh, Florida, I believe. I don't know if you know Stephen Root, but he has that shirt of quality to him. He does that voice. Uh, but, uh, but it's like the rest. They show up. You know what I mean? It's, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, again, it's a, it was, what I love about the book is, or the audio book, it's just, it's mm-hmm. such a cinematic experience. It's it's theater of the mind. You know, you don't just hear the narration and the clever dialogue and the narrate. It, it's, you are mm-hmm. you are in the world. Uh, so the sound effects, I think there are 150,000 I... sound oh, wow, effects. Wow, is it, is it... Of which I'm going to do each one for you right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> And the, and the one thing, I, I listen to books sometimes on my Kindle, and you know, Kindle has these yes. little tiny speakers in it, but I think, with mm-hmm. th- I think with this one, it would be doing a disservice to yourself. I, if I download this, I want to listen to it on my computer where I've got these nice big speakers. Mm-hmm. I don't want to listen to it on my Kindle. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think that's right. I think it will translate well on the Kindle, but you're right. I, uh, you might want that full, the full headphone. Uh, experience. It's one of those things where you're just going to lean back, close your eyes, and you're there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they worked so hard on that po- in post. Just you know, incredible. I, that's the thing I'm thinking. You guys mm-hmm. put so much work into it, the music and everything. Frederick, Fred, Tadashira, hold on a second. We've got to take a little break. Um, okay. Do we call you Frederick, Fred, or just Fred? How, what, what actually, you-, you can call me Fred. My my full name is Alfred. Actually. Oh, oh Alfred. really, Alfred? Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> Alfredo Oliviero Tatasciore. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk is on the phone right now. I don't want to get him. There he is. I got him angry again. All right, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Don't go away. The weather is brought to you by my FWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Partly sunny today, hot with highs of 93 to 95. Patchy clouds tonight with lows of 73 to 76. Partly sunny with an afternoon thunderstorm for tomorrow and Saturday. Highs will be between 91 and 94 degrees for both days. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Heather's Air. Are you ready to be inspired? Are you ready to hear a message of hope? If so, join me, William F. Stiles, inspirational speaker, live right here every Friday morning on WOCA, 9.35 a.m. Learn how you are amazing right now, today. Learn to see how special you are. Join me Friday morning, 9.35 a.m. Cookies, 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 cookies. We go cookie eating cookies. When you want something special and fun for any occasion, get cookies. King Cookie in the Paddock Mall in Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. So next time you're in the mall, stop by King Cookie or call 352-237-2557. KingCookieOcala.com. Customized cookies, cakes, and more. King Cookie. Eating cookies, eating cookies. We're so happy eating cookies. Cookies! This is the beat of a normal heart. Now this is the beat of a heart of someone who just snorted or injected or smoked methamphetamine. Why? For a high. And this is what happens to that normal heartbeat. It's irregular. It's racing. It's why it's called speed. And it can do bizarre things to our heads. It can make us aggressive and violent. We can start hallucinating and end up doing some serious damage to people. Call 1-888-8-NO-METH today for more information on methamphetamine. That's 1-888-8-NO-METH. A message from the Partnership for a Drug-Free Florida and America. All right, 18 minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Fred Tatashore is on the phone. And, uh, guys, this is just a great interview. Uh, he is of... Um, I think I was going to say stand-up comic first. I think that sounds to be like what you are first and foremost. Do you, do you agree? I agree. I would say it's shifted it, that with the voice acting has been such my primary... You know, that is it become just acting has been big part of my life my existence at this point so the two are kind of married but i would say yeah voice acting we're, we're, you know big part and then i i'm a clown the rest of my life you know? <laughs> is that how you were growing up were you the uh, uh class clown or were you a yeah, loner? Kind of, 
I was a loner, but I had really cool loner friends, so that kind of works out. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, so we weren't really loners, then, were we? No, um, and uh, I was incredibly, which no one believes, but like so many actors, I was completely shy. Mm-hmm. Just wanted so to be something else, always, and always doing voices, and humor was my way in to, you know, connect to people. So, for self so, so okay let me use the Hulk character I- I- in a way here because the Hulk okay. character transforms from one, one personality to another does that same or not the same but does a similar transformation happen between the real Fred and the Fred that you might see at a comedy club if you're standing before an audience do you have to do some kind of a transformation if you're shy I, I, I mean how do you do that how do you become how do you go uh, I, 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 for, well, everyone's different. I mean, for me, and, and it's the same in, in my acting, it's just I dive into a character. You know, you just dive in and you make it real for you. Okay. You so know, it has to be it has to be rooted in you, but you got to connect it to what the what the story is. And so for me, for example, when I was doing stand-up, it was uh, just doing a bunch. I was just uh, doing a bunch of different characters playing off each other. Oh, really? You know what I mean? But that's kind of the way, that was my way. And now, now everyone's different. There's some guys that have a character that they do. You know what I mean? And they get up and that's their guy. I know, and, and you don't know. I, I, I saw Will Ferrell on uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. And, yes. And you know the, the, the Seinfeld thing he does. And, and I thought to myself, this is the first time I've ever seen Will Ferrell. Because I don't think yes. I've ever seen the real Will Ferrell on any interview. And on, not on Jimmy no. Fallon. Yeah, he never shows himself. But on the, on the Comedians in Cars thing, he does. You see the real guy. Yeah, I, 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 I got a chance to work with him with Curious George. I, I was in, working on Curious George, the animated uh, film, and he was, uh, the, you know, it's a little cliche, but the nicest, low-key, like, just real into getting the work done. You know, like, real interested in just the, you know, he didn't, he wasn't uh, doing all the stuff that he does when you see him on YouTube or, or on the shows, right, he was, right. which is hilarious. I'm a huge fan, but he was just, so interested in what you were doing, you know, and I remember, you know, it was, that is awesome. I remember one time I had showed, I think I had with sick for one performance, uh, I couldn't show up, it was like, and for me, that's a big deal, like, I have to be falling down dead, and he, they called me, and they said, uh, Will wants to know how you're doing. Oh, wow, <laughs> you know? oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that is cool. Guy. How do you do all these voices? And I'm looking at him going, "You're kidding me, right?" <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like you're you, and you're asking me. No, did, did he want to learn? Like, all right. We have a, a guy here in in our area who's really talented on the banjo, and he won some kind of a contest and, and became the teacher of Steve Martin. Uh, Steve Martin plays oh, wow. banjo, but apparently, like you must be like a mentor to Will Ferrell, the same way this guy is on the banjo <laughs> to Steve. Martin. I don't know if I would be a mentor to Will Ferrell, but that's Mark very Johnson. Cool. I, but I would say that is astounding because Steve Martin is he really he rocks that thing. I mean, he that's does. a big deal. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's like, a really big deal. What's the guy's name? The the, the teacher. Robert remembered it. Mark Johnson. Mark Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. He's oh awesome. wow. Yeah. That's cool. In, in fact, he was on Letterman uh, with Steve Martin, and then the next night, Howard yes. St- Howard Stern was on, and he said, "You must really be sinking low if you have banjo players on your show." <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> kind of just, just funny stuff. That's, that's, that's so true. There's so many. I, I have a, lot, a couple of banjo player friends that say the same kinds of things. You know, <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're doing this, huh? You know? like, uh, do you? Oh, so, since you had said in the beginning of the interview that you uh, were an animator and you want to do different characters, would you? Uh, would you uh, draw the characters yourself, and and they would be yes. your creation? Yes, yeah, that's basically I'm doing little. Uh, I have this duck character and a few other characters, that, and yeah, I would uh, I would um, draw the thing and then try to voice it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and, and now you can now you can voice everything is so much easier now. You can voice your stuff and then animate right to the sound, which is really incredible. oh my, that's a, that's a lot easier than oh. it was. Oh gosh, yeah, I'd love to take a, I'd love to just be with you for an hour just to learn how to do some of that. That <laughs> I don't know how to. do I I bought a you program one time, and everybody looks like Jib Jab guys. I, they all look like Jib Jab. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of the Jib Jab. They're great. Yeah, no, there is that. Yes, everything. <laughs> uh, pup- it's more puppet oriented. Yeah, you know? yeah. I wanted to be. A, yeah, Jib Jab's. That's an amazing studio. I um, 
I wanted to be my big thing. I love radio. I mean, I love what you guys are doing. Yeah. I wanted to do like the the production. You know, like the in between. You know, you're listening to the frog, the frog. You know that kind of thing. Oh, you. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can. Do, well, what are we watching? I don't know. Hey, if you if you if you, if you if you if you do one right now, we'll use it. If you do one right now, okay. Do you want to know what we're called? Well, we're called uh, W O C A the Source. The W O C A the Source. Right. Go ahead. Okay. We'll, we'll use it. Whatever you do right now, Rob and I are going to shut up and let you do. Are it. we going to do it right now? Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, uh, yeah. W O C A the Source, and then you're you're. Uh, 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 where are we? We're he's and then somebody else will he's put nervous. some sound on it or something. Yeah, he's nervous. Uh, Ocala, Florida. Yeah, yeah Ocala, no, no. Ocala, Florida. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Here we go. Ready? Ready. W O C A. The source. The source. Ocala, Florida. Yeah. Watch it. Listen. Enjoy. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Well, we will definitely use that. Oh man! You are I don't amazing. know if there's anything you could do with that. We'll definitely use that. Now, how much is that going to cost? Though? Yeah. How much? Is- yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, your your roles are so varied. I mean, gosh, you do that uh, uh, the Gears of War video games, and then you do something like. Uh, uh, Curious George, when you work with the animators from like Disney and then from the Gears of War, do you have a different mindset when you go into each performance? Uh, yes, I do. I try to keep open. I mean, uh, basically, I try to do what the uh, uh, you know what the material dictates. So it's like, for example, um, well, for example, on Battlefield Earth, I'm like, okay, what's my character? You know, Kerr, what's he about? And I try to source it out with. Uh, the director, um, and in animation, it's, uh, I like to see what they want, and then usually we're auditioning to get the things, uh-huh. and then once we, you know, so they've already picked you for your choices, I try to give them three choices of something, four, or ten, or, four, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I call it VOCD, uh, OCD, VOCD, voiceover, <laughs> you know. so yeah, OCD. Are you one, and, yeah. Are you one character in Battlefield Earth, or are you more than one character? Oh, uh, I'm mainly one character, and then I play another. Uh, then I play another Scottish uh, doctor, Miss uh, McTavish, and I, uh, and then a <laughs> bunch of incidental. We in the story they go to Scotland to get some miners, and because uh, you know they need to mine some gold, and uh, so there's a few of those. But oh, Kerr's wow. my main guy. Yeah. What's his What's his yeah. name? Kerr. Kerr, K E R. K E R, okay. And uh, he's a really good natured uh, cyclo. He comes from a culture of aliens that are incredibly, uh, well, they weren't, they weren't originally mean, but they've become very cruel. Does he, is, he, uh, is he offended to be called an alien? <laughs> what's that? Is he offended to be called an alien? No, I'm not. It just depends on where you are. You know, for, <laughs> if I'm on Earth, I probably am an alien, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, getting busy with mining and stuff. But yeah, it's a... He's one of the main characters, though. So you're like yes. one of the stars of the movie. Yeah, of he's, the uh, he becomes... He's one of the best friends of the hero. <laughs> um, beautifully played by, uh, yeah, Scott Menville. And uh, yeah, he's... he's um, uh, he becomes the he's the part of the race that's very damaging to Earth, and but he's never got this implant that made him as evil because he's kind of the runt of the litter. He was like when he was really? born, he's only seven feet tall. You know, he's not oh, nine, <laughs> ten feet tall, and he was like so he's this little you know nothing really. Yeah, and 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 uh, was was basically ejected. You'll you'll hear he has the whole story when he was born, and he was ejected, ejected, and you know left to be working on this hellhole called Earth, and uh, <laughs> and for this evil boss, for this very tyrannical boss I named w- Turl. I wonder how many people listen to this, uh, and then after listening to it, refer to it as a movie. Robin just said the movie, and we know yeah. it's an audiobook. But I'm, I'm, yes. I'm guessing a lot of people just kind of, their mind just. As far as remembering it, you, somebody says, "What good movies have you seen lately?" Oh, I saw this one, that one. I saw Battle. I saw Battlefield mm-hmm. Earth. Oh, wait a minute, that wasn't right. a movie. But in yeah. your mind, That's you feel a, like it's a movie, yeah. right? Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's an audio movie. It really is very much so. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, my question about that is, since it took five years to complete, how did that leading lady stay so hot for five years? 
And she, how did that what? And she is I hot. know you mean. Oh, yeah, the, the cover, leading lady. The she's just gosh. Are you? Are so you? Is, is Kerr on the cover? Is that you on the cover? Your character. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> no, no, I don't. It's a, it's a, yeah. How did she stay so? She stayed hot. You know, they, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hot. And that's yeah. A, you're talking about Shirk, I think. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we don't care what Ellen her name Dubin, is. Who is very beautiful. We don't care what her <laughs> name is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care. He's just hot. <laughs> yeah. By the, by the, the only way, reason he's watching that forty-seven and a half hours, I know. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> but, but, and, and with that image, I'll I'll stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I wanted to tell you something. I understood every word you said when you had your Scottish accent. But Robert and I you were did. Robert and I were down at Universal Studios, and we were with these mm-hmm. Scot- we were with these Scottish people, and I said to Robin. Are you sure they're speaking English? I couldn't understand a word they were saying. Yeah, it was very hard. Yes. I know. I'm, I'm, glad <laughs> you, worst, I'm glad you made oh, it understandable. Well, uh, absolutely. And the worst part about it is they understand you. <laughs> right. You know, like, so you're like, we must sound to them like, hello, <laughs> I'm from America. <laughs> right, you know, right. they're like, yeah, I know what you're from. Don't right, worry. Right, right. I know what you do. Fred, I know what you're from. It's Fred, okay. we're up against the clock. Thank you so much for being on. Go to battlefieldearth.com. And uh, Fred, what's your website? Number one. Uh, I, you know what, I'm, uh, don't, I don't have one now, <laughs> but I, I'm going to get one. <laughs> I hope so. But yes, I will. I, we will be getting all that together. Um, but I will keep you posted. Uh, and uh, thank you. It's really been an honor talking to you guys about this, you guys about this you the, know, the honor. number one book. My gosh. The number, uh, yeah. the, the honor is ours, I mean to say. Uh, Fred Tadashore, thank you so much for being on the air with us. And uh, uh, this interview has been recorded. You can watch the video of it, which is basically a still picture of Fred the whole time through. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and, I hope uh, it's a good picture. It's a good picture. <laughs> it's a really good picture. We'll be we'll Think be, it's a good one, please. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, thank you. Folks, this weekend could be your last best chance to cash in on the big BOGO deal on crepe myrtles at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens. All your favorites, big ones and small ones, even those gorgeous exotics, all buy one, get one free at Bob Wines. Here's another unadvertised weekend-only deal. All roses, knockout roses, drift roses, lots of others, huge selection of colors. These roses are buy one, get one at half price this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only. Those dwarf ever-blooming azaleas, still just $2.99, but hurry, supplies are limited. If you're out looking for garden deals this weekend, head on over to Bob Wines Community.